And so Sonic looks at Elise as Elise is crying about wanting to sacrifice the world so that they can have their 48 hours of, of love. And boy, howdy, was it a lot of love. And he looks at Elise and he says, Elise, just smile and blow. And that's the end of the game. B. Wake up, everybody, because it is time once again for another episode of Rank a Bone, the one and only podcast where we get together, talk about some video games, and tell you what to think about them. I'm your host, Banner SN, and joining me always below me is the master of all things emeralds, Joey Spicy Fries. Hey, Joey. Hey, how's it going? I am feeling great. Feeling speedy? Feeling very, the need for speed? Very speedy. I have honestly been on a big Sonic kick recently. Uh, so much so that I was actually almost going to re like, I was actually going to go back and continue playing Sonic Heroes for a second, but then I got distracted by some other things, namely Crash 4. Because Crash 4 yes, is... Yes, yes, Crash 4. It is, it has Incredible. been a fun game to play. Incredible. I'm so ready to do, to finish Sonic and get to Crash, because we're going to, spoiler alert, we're going to be doing Crash Bandicoot after this. Oh, and that's a spoiler for me. I didn't know that. Well, we, 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 uh, we'll we'll talk about that later. Um, the the whole the whole idea behind like Sonic was that we were gonna do this leading up to the movie, and obviously we never got there. Uh, we right. obviously wait very late on that, um, just because these games are it's hard to it's hard to play Sonic games over and over again. But with Crash, I was always I always thought that like, hey, if they come out with a new game. We should do Crash because Crash is not a long franchise. There's only like 10, 11, I mean, like one, two, three. I mean, depending on how many we do, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games. Now there's a 10th game, unless we want to do mm-hmm. some of the racing games. It's only 10 games. That's not so bad. Yeah, they're relatively short, too. Um, and a lot and, of them are manageable with, you know, the remakes and all that. Yeah. And the rank, I mean, the ranking list wouldn't be that interesting because it would be like one, two, and three on, on top, everything else far below it. But now we have Sonic mm-hmm. 4, Sonic 4, Crash 4, and mm-hmm. we might be, that number one spot is is uh, is is getting contested. It is contested. Definitively contested. I don't know. I don't want to rank it yet because we're not doing it yet, but I'm just going to say Warped has a special place in my heart, so it's oh. going to be tough to knock that one down. Warp does, but I can recognize, like, the thing that Crash 4 does that I'm enjoying so much. And I know we're doing a Sonic podcast and we're talking about crash bandicoot, but it's exciting. Anyway, the thing about crash. Oh, and I also bought the crash bandicoot G, G fuel. <laughs> same thing. Oh, as the, uh, same thing as the Sonic G fuel that I got. It's Wumpa fruit flavored. The thing about <laughs> crash four is that every single level is a core platforming level. And every so often you get a mix of different kind of gimmicky, gimmicky stuff that is mm-hmm. intertwined into the platforming level. Whereas Crash 3 and to a lesser extent Crash 2 do have like, this is just a gimmick level, especially Crash 3. Because Crash 3 has like the racing levels, they got the flying levels, the water levels, the Pura levels, like... The chasing levels, you know, where like the big monster or such chases you down. Yeah, well actually Crash 3, I think all the chasing levels are the Triceratops... And mm-hmm. I think the Triceratops is also intermixed with some platforming gameplay, which is which is which I praise it a lot for for doing that kind of thing. Whereas Crash Two is just the chasing bits. Um, right. But regardless, I'm just what, what I'm saying is like with Crash Three, like critically, I can attest that Crash Two is the better game because it is pure platforming, and there's some bad designs in Crash Three. But I like, but personally, like you, I prefer Crash Three, just because it's. I I think that the 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 level design of Crash Three. And the themes and the things you get to do are a lot more exciting than, uh, you know, jungle, snow jungle, ruins yeah. jungle, like over and over again. Like I played all three as a kid, but that one was just the one I always went to, no matter what. Yeah, totally. Uh, but Crash Four is. Definitely- oh, we're here for Sonic. We're here for Sonic. We are here, and we haven't even introduced the game yet. And I'm <laughs> sure you've all so you're all watching this video. I already know it's I already know what it is. Ooh, I just realized. Hang on a second. Uh, Give me, give me one second. Sure. Uh, let's see how quickly I you can don't, do this. You distract, don't have your fun facts ready, do you? Distract the children for me. I, I don't, I, I don't have my fun facts in front of me, but that is not the issue that I'm currently um, dealing with right distraction, now. Distraction, distraction. Hmm. Oh, 
now. I'm bad with distractions. Horrible with them, in fact. Uh, well, um, you know. Uh, da -ba -ba -da -da -da. Yeah, I really don't know what to say. I'm sorry. I'm drawing a blank here. There All we I go. Really have on the mind is we Sonic. are playing. To, we have played Sonic 06, or as I like to call it, Sonic Oh No. <laughs> There's more oh no in this game than there is in Sonic Adventure 1. And Sonic Adventure 2 has a lot of oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Good God at this game. Um, this is widely regarded as to be the worst Sonic game uh, of all time. Uh, second only to, in my opinion, Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh, Joey disagrees. The Very nice. game came out in, 20, in 2006. I don't even need to look up facts for this game. I just, I've done so much... I've done so much research on this one. Game came out in 2006 as part of Next Gen title. It was, um, I think, originally called Sonic Next Gen. Um, it was scheduled for the 360, uh, and it was going to be released uh, alongside the PS3 version, which I think ended up getting slightly delayed. I think the PS3 version came out slightly afterwards, uh, but the PS3 hadn't come out yet when the 360 version... Um, when well the 360 well the 360 was it was out in 2005 so um the ps3 version i think suffers from a lot of issues more so issue, issues than the xbox 360 version uh game is plagued with low t with awful load times uh really bad glitches which i don't know if you encountered very many joy um i personally didn't encounter some of the glitches that i know about that i've seen before and i think when i originally played this game i think i've only ever played sonic story before uh, i encountered a few of those glitches during that playthrough um but we both played on emulator because I could not get my copy of the game to work. I had a pretty smooth playthrough. Did you I can't any... say I came across any real problems. I had an, I had an awful time with my emulator, but I, I, I will not I will not drag the game from the emulator's problems because there were clear like graphical issues with the emulator where textures weren't loading, things were getting attached into spots that weren't it was it was it was a nightmare. My I had levels in which I couldn't see anything. I'm pretty sure Shadows, White Acropolis, and Aquatic Base. Mm. I couldn't see anything because it was all just this reflecty, seizure -y mess. And it was really bad. Um, I literally looked up, because I was at the very end of a shadow level, and mm -hmm. I literally looked up a Let's Play of White Acropolis with Shadow and matched my movements to that person so I can get to the end of the game. Oh, it was, gosh. It was, <laughs> it was incredible. Um, lots of glitches, lots of bad load times, Level designs and boss fights that seem to be completely unfinished. Graphical texture issues that just seem kind of funky and weird. This game, this game was so rushed. It was, this is more rushed than Sonic rushed. Jesus. But, um, I knew that was coming. And there's some really bad mechanics in this game. There's some question, questionable uh, move sets. Yeah. It's just some interesting stuff. This game is a fucking hoot. And I actually really enjoyed myself when I played this game. How about you? I thought it was fun. Uh, I well, I'm sure we're gonna say whose whose uh, storyline playthrough we enjoyed the most. I would say Silver was where I had the most fun of the three. I I would say Shadow has the best story, and I think parts of his gameplay can get kind of bland. But I think it, I think his story is easily the best. Silver's a whiny bitch, and he's a moron, mm. and. Parts of his gameplay just get kind of repetitive, especially once you get to the later levels where things just kind of go on and on. And there's some sections, that, yeah. there's some sections like Dusty Desert. I know that that ball puzzle that he has at the end there is mm -hmm. extremely infamous. And because I know it so well, like I know how bad it is, I was very <sighs> cautious when I went through this, so I actually had an easy time going through. But I've seen people get stuck on that thing for hours, and it's not fun. Yeah, I really didn't have a problem with that. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, and then there's the infamous silver boss fight where he's like, "It's no use, ah!" Uh! And then he catches you, "It's no use, ah!" Uh! And then he catches you, "It's no use, ah!" Uh! And then he catches repetitively annoying. Yeah, uh, although it is very apparent to me that you just run away from him until he says, uh, "Now I'll show you," <laughs> or "How about this?" or something or whatever he says, dumb silver lines. Um. Yeah, like I said, I enjoyed playing this game, but not for good reasons. Not like, it's like, it's one of those things that's so bad that it's fun. It's fun to play, but you... you, you we're, we're here to play these and rank them. We're not here to, you know, find hate for these games. Oh, we can. I can. 
<laughs> there, I'll get into it once we once we actually get into some of the more gameplay stuff. But there are core things about this game that you can point to and be like, "This is this isn't good. This isn't how this game should be moving or running." And also, the load times would be a lot worse if we weren't running these on our PCs, which we we are. So the load times are better. But those things right. can be atrocious. And the fact that it's like, oh, you walk up to an NPC, loads, talks to the NPC, mm-hmm. accept loads. mission, loads. Very short talking to the NPC, loads, gameplay segment, loads, result screen, loads, acceptance thing, loads, just what in the world? I don't understand how many times this game loads. Uh, so let's start off with, uh, with a little bit of plot. A little bit of plot. Oh, actually, no, I have one more quick, quick fact for it all. Uh, the game was actually made as a rebrand, a uh, reboot for Sonic, uh, something to be a little more serious and more focused and bring that, like, level of energy back to Sonic after Shadow the Hedgehog kind of flopped and was very highly criticized. Mm-hmm. Um, so the game obviously has a specific tone that it sets that I don't think it quite lives up to. The plot of this yeah. game, starting with... We'll, we'll go in order. We'll do Sonic Story, Shadow Story, Silver Story. Sure. plot of Sonic Story is that he is in the kingdom of Soliana and he encounters this princess who is apparently the key to uh, unlocking this thing called Iblis. Okay. And Eggman, randomly, whatever for whatever reason, he wants to harness the power of Iblis to take over the world. Um, the game has some moments in which it pulls from the past Sonic games and some moments where it clearly... It's very clear that some things in this game would make it impossible for other events to happen. Namely, mm-hmm. the fact that at one point, Silver gives Elise a Chaos Emerald in the past that is supposed to be like, oh, this is how she got the Chaos Emerald that she gets in the beginning of the game with Sonic. But if she had the Chaos Emerald when she was a child all the way till now, that Chaos Emerald is not does not exist in any of the games. It's not possible. Right. If she, exactly. she, ha- she has the Chaos Emerald. And then they try to do things like pull like things from Son- from Sonic and Shadow's past storylines and stuff like that with Egg with uh, Rouge and Omega and Amy and it's a mess. It doesn't make any sense. How does why does Mephiles know who Shadow is in the past? If Shadow went to the past to encounter Mephiles, but he didn't actually have that. But Shadow was locked in a chamber sleeping his whole life. So how in the fuck did he encounter Mephiles? Lots of plot holes, man. It's a problem. It's a muddy, muddy problem when it comes to these Sonic timelines. Anyway, so the story of Sonic is a lovely, heartwarming tale of true love in which mm-hmm. a a beautiful, pale, cue ball head, weird, like, chicken leg colored tights, lanky as all can be, like, five feet too tall, falls in love with Sonic the Hedgehog. And this is mm. not okay. <laughs> <laughs> when I first watched playthroughs of this game, I never realized how explicitly bad it is. The love story between the two. I always thought, like, people kind of exaggerate. The, the whole kiss at the end is kind of like an exaggerated. It's not a big deal. No, Elise, Elise loves Sonic. She, he, she literally has fallen in love with Sonic. And I have notes, ladies and gentlemen, about these issues that I've encountered. Bestiality is one of them, and I am not okay with this. Not in my Sonic, Yuji Naka. Not in my Sonic. Oh, yeah, no, bestiality is wrong. Yeah. Um, (laughs) I do like some of the redesigns in this game. I think that um, Sonic looks a little weird. I don't hate his design in this game, but he does look a little... his, His quills are a little bit too long. It's true, they are. Um, but Eggman is probably the best and worst design out of anything. He's got a tremendous, tremendous crotch in this game. Absolutely <laughs> stupendous. It is huge. And he has six nipples. Six giant oh, oh, golden oh, oh, bronze oh, oh, nipples. Hold on, hold on. You can't go from he's got a tremendously huge crotch to he's huge. <laughs> he's pretty big. He's pretty big in this game. And he's got a lot of presence, too. And... He just like he just does this all. I mean, you can't see me, Joey, but I'm like moving my hands in the way he does. Like, Iblis will take over the world, and he's got giant bronze nipples on his on his chest. Why does he have oh, six I know giant nipples. nipples? I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot to I say. I agree. This is one of his worst designs ever. I would say so. 
Like, there's not much worse than this, honestly, because it's all pretty consistent up until, like, the shift between 2D and 3D. Um, mm-hmm. But it's, like, basically choosing between three designs, and this is obviously the worst one. I, like I said, I don't hate the design, but I just think it's really, really doofy, and there's some questionable choices. Um, I forgot to say, the reason why I'm, pl- we were, I'm playing on Emulator, well, the reason why we're both playing on Emulator is because you can't buy this game anymore. It's literally, they literally delisted it on Xbox Live, so I can't re-download my copy of it. Um, and I tried, I tr- believe me, I tried, you can actually buy the DLC for this game and there's DLC for this game. I didn't know, no, there, there's like character packs and like challenge mode, challenge modes. Who's I playing this on a harder difficulty? I wouldn't want to. No. I'm good. Thanks. Um, DLC, you can still buy the DLC, but you can't buy the full game. I don't. And I, I emulated this cause I just don't have a console for it. True. Unfortunately. I mean, Xbox One backwards compatibility, baby. And, uh, just kidding. Um, Good, thank you. Why won't Sonic center himself on the damn results screen? Why is he always off center? He's like halfway <laughs> in the scoreboard. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh my good god. Uh, <sighs> so Sonic rescues Elise from Eggman. They run off. Sonic gets distracted, and Elise gets recaptured. And repeat that six times. The amount of fucking times that Elise gets captured and Sonic has to go rescue her because he gets turned around if Silver distracts him twice if Eggman distracts him twice if she decides to walk away around a corner Elise gets captured and that's the entire story of Sonic's story that's it that's the only thing that happens in Sonic's story is he has to rescue Elise over and over again she dies in this game and he has to rescue her again he like just give up it's not worth it the girl just keeps getting captured I mean it's a Sonic game meaning the um Meeting, meeting Mario, basically. You're just saving Princess Peach constantly. It's true. We do go back. We do go forward in time at some point because that's that's the thing they wanted to bring in there. Time travel. Um, there's one moment. There's uh, there's the moment you find Tails and you start to get your first uh, cooperative team pair up, which I like this mechanic of how that's they did. Cool. Yeah, how they did partner characters in the game. The execution is awful, though. <laughs> really bad. Like definitively, like I'll I'll get into my complaints with Sonic's gameplay in a second, but I wanted to get into the partners first because starting with Tails, Tails is probably mm-hmm. one of the worst. Why does Tails have ring bombs in this game? Why is that his weapon? Who oh, thought of that? Know. Why, <laughs> like a bomb? Okay, sure, a bomb. Why is it a ring bomb? Why, why on earth would they do that? Like, like. Forget the logic that Tails would build a ring bomb and the fact that their rings doesn't change anything. That doesn't help Tails in this situation. He's making disguised rings. That only hurts Tails. I can't see which rings are real. Why do they do that? I don't know. Explain this to me. Explain to me why they chose a ring bomb. The rings run all over the... What is with the rings in this game? When you capture rings, you get hit, and the rings go bouncing everywhere. That's not how it's supposed to work. They're supposed to stay in place. They're supposed to spread out in a circle surrounding you. Exactly. It was, exactly. It's pretty fucking bad in this game. It's really bad. It also causes a lag. There is... there. The thing with this engine is that they're really trying to highlight the, the, the box particles. That's why there's so many boxes in this game, is because when you break them... <laughs> They split apart into a bunch of pieces and stay on the ground, and they wanted to show that off as part of like the new engine tech, the next gen experience for for what it's worth. And I understand why they're trying to why that's sort of like a focus point, but to have t- tails do this weird ring bomb. Sorry, my camera's not focusing correct. Please focus. Hello, I'm here. Focus on me. Don't lose focus. Uh, let's try and let's try to stay in one place. The ring bomb is, they're impossible to aim. They're really bad. They sound annoying. Tail sound effects are annoying. He controls like garbage. He controls in the air like garbage. Why? Okay. Another thing. Why do you go to Wave Ocean as Tails? Why? Why? What, what was the point of that mission? Tails goes to Wave Ocean and then he goes back to Soliana. Yeah, I don't know. It didn't make sense at all. <laughs> I, there's, there's like one mission in each, each story where the character does something. With a partner, with, as a partner, you play as a partner character. You go to um, tropical jungle as Rouge to find Omega to send him back to the past. That works. That makes sense. You play as Blaze on Wave in Wave Ocean, I believe. Mm-hmm. 
I don't think Silver goes to Wave Ocean. I think it's just Blaze. And we'll get to Blaze in, in, a, in a second in, when we do Silver Story. But why does Tails go to Wave Ocean? I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense. In every other story, that's in replace of a level. But you just go to Wave Ocean again. Why? It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. There's it, there's there's a glitch that happens with Knuckles and Rouge, where if you're climbing up a surface, there's a chance you just get stuck, and you have to restart the level because you he refuses to jump off. I've seen it happen before. It's happened to me before in my first playthrough. It didn't happen to me this time. I think because I'm playing the emulator. Yeah. Oh my god, that is the worst glitch in the world. <laughs> Thank God because it made Knuckles totally fine. Like Knuckles was totally fine playing as him. Mm -hmm. Um. Mostly because these levels are not built for knuckles, so you just break them. You just run across them. You break them. There's nothing. There's there's nothing to it. Um, the levels clearly were not designed for these hero characters. They tried kind of shoehorning them into these sections. It just kind of seems weird. Like the only one that makes sense is when you're switching from shadow to silver, mm -hmm. because silver can cross the large gap and shadow can't. I can't think of a single other time in which you need to switch to another character, except for like the part where you're going to rescue Omega and you switch to Omega and to see what he's up to in the, in wave ocean. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Right. What mm -hmm. was your, was there a hero character in particular that you liked that you enjoyed playing as mine would probably be Omega or knuckles. I'd have to go with Omega as well. He's fun. He's, he's mindless, but fun. I say, why does, why does Amy turn invisible? <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> I can't tell you that part, man. I didn't design the game. Where did that come from? <laughs> I don't. Invisible. I guess to make some sort of interesting stealth mechanic. Stealth sure. mechanic. Yeah, that makes sense. Even though she's never had it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Blaze is awful in this game. I don't know what they did to her, but she is terrible to play as. Her mm -hmm. attack is so weird and so random, activates randomly. I don't get it. And then I hate Rouge, so fuck Rouge, whatever. Although I will get to some parts that I actually liked about Rouge in this game. Yeah, I really only enjoyed Omega. Yeah, I agree. I really genuinely enjoyed Omega. Yeah. Um, so at one point, Sonic is invited to Tails' base, or Tails' base, uh, Eggman's base in White Acropolis. And the way he figures this out is he finds Knuckles in the military base. Why he's in this random section of the area, I have no idea. He's waiting for Knuckles. He's waiting for Sonic. Where is the Master Emerald? Why is he here? Why did Knuckles come? Isn't he supposed to be protecting the Master Emerald? He pretty throws, bad about it. He's standing very cool. He's got this card. He's like, he's slapping against his arm. He's like, sup, dude? And he flings the card to Sonic. Sonic catches it no problem. Sonic's cool, baby. Cool as a cucumber. Sonic reads the cards, and then Sonic flings the card back to Knuckles. And Knuckles and his doofy-ass gloves just fucking bobbles it. And he it lands on the ground. He's just like, he kicks the ground in the dust up. He's like, oh, man, and crushes it. That was, that was hilariously designed. Oh, Lord. I, I have a lot of bad things to say about this game. I had fun with the game. I have a lot of bad things to say. That moment was genuinely perfect. It was so funny. He's like, nope, nope, nope. Oh, damn. I got the gloves. I can't pick it up. <laughs> Why the hell are his gloves like that? I just don't understand it, man. Because he's knuckles, and he's got a, he's got one knuckle. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, Elise needs to try harder. Yeah, I agree. At some point after what I would believe to be the after the third mission, third mission, no, second mission, after Dusty Desert, fight Egg Cerberus, Dusty Desert, at least gets kidnapped again. Mm -hmm. You encounter the boss fight with Silver. It's the first time you meet Silver. Boss fight's right. a pain in the ass at first until you realize you just have to avoid him until he does his stupid attack and then he's easy. At least gets kidnapped and Silver stops Sonic about to kill Sonic. Sonic's never met Silver before. He's about to kill Sonic. Sonic's like, what the hell is happening right now? Who is this hedgehog? Why is he trying to kill me right now? Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, Amy comes in to rescue Sonic. <laughs> stops 
stops the fight, gives Sonic a moment, a chance to, to get away. In what world would Sonic the Hedgehog leave Amy to this psychotic, telepathic, murderous hedgehog that he doesn't know? And he was like, thanks, Amy. Gotta go. <laughs> what are you doing? She's gonna get killed, Sonic. I mean, that's just Sonic for you. He's pretty ignorant when it comes to Amy. I mean, he likes her, but that's that's how their friendship is. No, but Sonic saves Amy yeah. all the time, though, right? Sure. But it's always been the case of just like, oh, like, cool. Glad you're around. Gotta go. But Silver was going to kill him. For all he knows, Sonic should have understood that Silver probably would have killed Amy, too. I don't know, man. I... I don't think... I, don't, I, I think he knew he was there to kill Sonic. And he wouldn't do that to someone. I don't think so. I, I think Sonic had no... Sonic was not given any context for that. He was just like, what the fuck is happening? And he just <laughs> left Amy to die. As far as I know. As far as I know, Sonic left Amy to die. When that happened to Shadow, that made sense. Because Sonic can leave someone with a Shadow. And he's like, Shadow will be fine. Amy? No. No. Um. The, um... The, the speed sections with Sonic are probably the unique gimmick for Sonic's levels. Mm -hmm. um, you get one in Wave Ocean, you get one in Kingdom Valley, you get one in Crisis City, and I think you get one more in the water, water aquatic base, maybe. Oh, Radical Train, you get one in Radical Train, it's too. It's Radical Train, yeah. I hate these. <laughs> They're awful. You can't jump. The camera doesn't move. You're so sticky, you hit everything and your coins go flying. These are awful. I don't like they're a precursor to the good, the good levels in Unleashed. I don't know how they're this bad. It's so the controls are so like sticky, but loose. And you're you. I just feel like I'm completely out of control in these sections. I can't help but agree. I, I felt the same exact way playing them. <laughs> um, and I get the mechanic. The mechanic makes sense. And I kind of like, I, I mean, there's a lot of the, the whole idea behind like, okay, you're doing Sonic levels. Then his partner, his partner, the partner characters help him out for a certain section to help him get through a certain section. And then he right. does this quick speed up section, which he gets to blast through a level. That whole concept makes total sense. It works. It sounds fun in theory. There are so many parts of this. just doesn't work. And Sonic himself feels so slippery. He's so slow to start. He never reaches a good top speed. And he's just so slippery. I don't understand why he feels so... He doesn't feel like he's attached to the ground correctly. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's Video. just... I don't know. They obviously didn't get it right this time with that. When you're doing... You know the wall jump segments? Yes. Where he sticks on the wall, jumps? He literally mm -hmm. headbutts every single thing he crashes into. Because the animation is not right and he doesn't land correctly. He's just like. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> the. Why does Sonic. In Wave Ocean, why does Sonic jump on the whale? He jumps on the whale. And grabs its fin, right? And grabs its fin, correct. Yeah. To tell Tails. Don't let the whale out. Don't let the whale out, Tails. <laughs> What? Sonic, your whole thing is environmentalism and rescuing animals. Why the hell did you just trap the whale in the bay? <laughs> Are uh, you supporting? Like, I get it if Soliana's main exporters or thing is whaling. Okay. Yeah. But Sonic should not be supporting this. He literally no, trapped the whale. And then he flung himself over the gate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why is he? What's with the whale? I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, there are a lot of random bits in this game that just didn't. I, mix. I, 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 I mean, I, I kind of get what they were going for. They're kind of like, I mean, maybe it was like a Shamu situation, but that's not good either. It's no, Japan, no. so they don't like whales. You know, the old South yeah. Park joke. Uh, no, I'm, yeah. uh, animal cruelty. <laughs> Um, 
What did you think of the main hub world? Solana. Soliana. I mean, I'm not one for hub world. I like to just jump into the next level and get going. So I didn't really explore it all that much. I did a little bit of exploring. I did a couple of side missions. Because I was like, what are these side missions even doing? Oh my god, they are the worst thing in the world. I did a couple. I, I one was... I will admit. Because you, but you did you did the mandatory ones like find the yeah. find the real captain. <laughs> Who's the real oh. captain? How long did that take you? I don't remember. Uh, Forty five minutes. No. Forty five. I don't. Forty five. Something. I know. I it. I did not get it done quickly. To find the captain. Yeah. It took you. F- Wait, did it really take you that long? I don't recall. I honestly don't. Like, I got this done a few weeks ago. So. I I knew because I because I knew going in. I'm like, I know who the captain is because it's this. I mean, it's the same thing every time. And I've watched mm-hmm. the playthrough of it, and I know it's the act. Did did it really take? Like, do you think it actually took you a long time? I okay. I might be over exaggerating with 45. I would say maybe. I couldn't tell you. I didn't. I didn't time myself. I don't know. <laughs> um, one of the missions has you rescue a dog, and there's no map. There's nothing telling you where that dog is. He's just somewhere in Soliana. You go up to him, and then you have to slowly walk the dog back. And if you go too far, he'll run back to the start. Yeah, you lose him. Yep. I did that. I did that once. I'm like, I'm not doing another mission. <laughs> Fuck this shit. <laughs> The game wants you to talk to all the NPCs to learn what you're supposed to do and where you're supposed to go. And that kind of works, but at the same time, it just feels so weird. Like, at some points, it's like, hey, I wish you could get across this set of rings or get under this thing. And it's like, then it's like, so maybe you could buy it somewhere. It's like, oh, there's a shop in this game. I didn't know that. No one told me there was a shop or where it was. I didn't know about a shop. Did you? Well, I mean, eventually you did, right? Yes. I'm going in. I did not know. And when we talk to Silver, we talk about so like Sonic stuff makes sense. Silver stuff is nonsense, and Shadow stuff is interesting. And actually, there's I have things to say about Shadow's thing, but the the shopping thing is just so so it's such a weird thing. Um, and it doesn't it's not as fun as the power up system in Sonic Adventure One, for sure. No, I agree. The power ups in Sonic Adventure One were the best. And there's just like no signposting in this game telling you where to go. It just kind of assumes that like you kind of know what to do. And there's no map. There's no way to look at it. You get a map on a loading screen. And believe me, there's a lot of loading screens in this game, but it doesn't help. Right. Uh, what'd you think of the Cerberus fight? Egg Cerberus? Egg Cerberus is all right. Pretty okay. I like the mechanic of running him to the wall. I'm not a fan of much of the boss fights in this game. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, like Egg Genesis is a cool concept, but it's just kind of boring. Yeah. And Egg Wyvern is annoying. I hate it. Very, very. Um, Dusty Desert, a very boring level for Sonic. He just carries oh. Elise around, and it's boring. I don't know. Shadows' section is better, I think. Uh, for Dusty Desert, sorry? Yeah, it's yeah. The part where you're just holding Elise. Yeah. Um, White Acropolis snowboard section. Oh, I don't know what they. I don't know what happened with that, but that snowboard did not was not a, did not work. It's like Sonic was riding that snowboard vertically. <laughs> <laughs> it just wasn't. It did not turn. There was no turning on that snowboard. Good God, yeah, it was pretty bad. Um, I think the level design in White Acropolis was okay, but a little too open for a Sonic style gameplay. Like obviously they're just reusing areas from other levels, and it right. works better in in Shadows and Silvers. But for Sonic, you're just running around this big area, like going from these giant open. There's no direction of where you're supposed to go. Like, I like I somehow managed to find my way through it, but it was just it's such a weird design choice for Sonic's levels. Um, Crisis City, probably my favorite level. This was a good one. I think it's the coolest of the. I mean, it's one of the coolest designs. Design I think. Is pretty cool. Yeah, What's exactly. That? Yeah, yeah, that and Kingdom Valley, I think, are my favorite designs. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think consistently across the board, all three characters have fun sections in, in crisis city. Um, whereas I think everyone has a, there's a problem with every character's level in, in at least one of each acts. Of course. Yeah. But I think crisis city uh, is probably the best one. It's got great music too. 
It's true. And definitely, probably, definitely one of the up there levels for this game. Probably the easiest speed section, uh, Crisis City. That tornado is carrying a car. It's true. Um, in the future, when you jump to the future, you meet Rouge and Shadow. They do the, the classic long time no see, and we'll be hearing that for a very long time from here on out. <laughs> and Rouge, this is her first appearance with the new voice actor. And Rouge sounds like a 40 year old GTA hooker. Great. I yeah, don't like Rouge. That's right. <laughs> Knuckles. <laughs> they reuse this this animation, and it's the and it's another Knuckles. I love Knuckles in this game. Gotta gotta love Knuckles. Right. Rouge says something to Knuckles to upset him, like some sort of like doofy master emerald treasure hunter joke or something like that. Knuckles walks up all huffled to Rouge. He's like, "Oh yeah." And then he goes, humph, and turns his head and walks away. Oh, Knuckles. Oh, Knuckles. It, it's so funny. He will forever be my favorite meme boy when it comes to Sonic. Flamecore has a really bad camera. There's certain sections which you're running through, like kind of speedy sections, and the camera mm-hmm. just flips all to- topsy-turvy. Cool. Uh, you have to destroy Barney's balls with Knuckles. Barney the dinosaur's balls. That's fun. That is fun, isn't to it? To light the way. Barney's balls will light the way. And uh, Ib- the Iblis fight. Oh, God. At the Iblis fight. I. It's the first time I've ever had to strategic. This game is the first time I've ever had to strategically grab rings. Because there are times in which they just leave you with nothing. And you're just like, there's no rings here. And they've put me in lava and I can't collect the rings or jump. And this fight taught me how to do that. And I'm very, I'm thankful for that. But this fight is awful. And the it giant a, fire snake. What's up? It was a nightmare boss fight. And the giant fire snake really does not do a good service to Iblis and the threat of Iblis. It's like, okay, there's this big lava snake. Like, is he, is he, can we, can we just let Elise die? Is this really that big of a deal? We could, we can stop Iblis, right? <laughs> it's just right. a giant snake. We beat chaos. We'll just get chaos again. He'll defeat him. <laughs> oh gosh get the giant get the giant space lizard with the satellite shoved up its ass yeah um <laughs> it's here we also discover that silver is an idiot and after a lifetime of being in this post-apocalyptic wasteland where the only person he trusts is blaze why is it that all of a sudden this evil dark dude named mephilus comes up and be like i can help you restore the future you just have to kill this other hedgehog. Why? Why do you listen to him, Silver? Why do you trust this man? I don't know. And then Silver's like, I see him. The blue hedgehog. And Blaze looks at him like, oh, Blue hedgehog? <laughs> you don't know him, Blaze. You clearly don't. This is not the Blaze from Sonic Rush. And maybe no. at the end it's implying that she becomes the Blaze from Sonic Rush. But Blaze met Sonic in this game at some point. At some point, Blaze is just in the background of a cutscene with Sonic. Never interacts with Sonic. She's just there at some point, and she's just kicking the dirt because she feels bad because Elise died. <laughs> what is? I don't understand. What were they doing? This game came out after Sonic Rush. Why is it that know. Blaze doesn't? I don't. Why did? Why is Blaze even here? Oh God! You can tell it's... this game was rushed. Very much so, and they should have done their homework on the storylines and the timelines. They didn't. Yeah, tropical jungle is kind of is pretty, but it's kind of bland. I don't know. What do you think? Did you like tropical jungle? Wait, did you did you skip radical train? Uh-uh. Or did we talk about radical train? Hold on, radical what? train comes after. But it's level 6 for Sonic. Tropical is level 7 for Sonic. Oh. I guess it doesn't matter for that. I didn't take good notes. Oh, so Radical, we'll go to Radical Train then. Uh, sure. Radical Train music is awesome. Um, good, nice, cool train foghorn. It's like... It's pretty good music. The music in this yeah. game is great. Mm, yeah, it had good music in it. Wave Ocean, Crisis City, Kingdom Valley is pretty good. Um... Some of the main themes are good, which we'll get to that later. The music is, is legitimately wonderful in this, in this game. 
Yeah, that's um, one thing Nick just does not fall short on is its music. Thank God for that. Never, never in a million years. Um, except for in the wonderful title that known as Sonic Chronicles: of The Dark Brotherhood, the RPG made by Bioware. Hmm. Some say that Mass Effect Andromeda was the downfall of Bioware. Me, Sonic Brotherhood. That's what I say for the DS. <laughs> Again, Tails goes to Wave Ocean for no reason. Um, mm-hmm. Tropical jun- Jungle. It's pretty. It's kind of a pointless map, though. Yep. Again, at least just gets captured. I mean, it's just a recurring thing at this point. At some point, you fight Silver again, and Shadow rescues you, and we'll get to that later, but it's one of the best scenes in the game uh, for yep. specific reasons, mostly because Shadow kicks Silver in the face. Kingdom Valley. I really like the design of this level. It was a neat design. Um, this is another one of those levels that kind of like... Too long? Oh. No, not too long. I would say this is one of the levels that I enjoyed more. Definitely. Yes. I think this is my number two level, if, if I'm looking at my, my list here. I would have to. Oh, my God. Them. On the video right now is the scene with Sonic in the cart throwing the cart. Yeah, you, can, you can't see this, Joey, but I'll describe it. So Sonic has the cart. He caught it. He's re- reading this this hologram card that Eggman has. That I don't know how. So, uh, why did Knuckles have this card? Where did he get this? Did Eggman come up? Hey, hey Knuckles, can you deliver this to Sonic for me? <laughs> Remember? We used to work together. Are, and he bobbles oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> just all, he's like, oh, shucks. And he smashes it. <laughs> Tails looks like a freak in this game. Have you seen Tails? He looks horror. He's like a horror monster. It's he bad. looks like Snaggletooth from Too Many Cooks. Oh, oh god! Oh, I see this picture you posted here with Eggman and his nipples. <laughs> Rubbing them bronze nipples. Uh, um, let me grab this photo. Uh. Save images. JPEG. Hang on, I'm gonna put this in the thing. Um, what's next after Tropical Jungle, okay. Kingdom Valley? Valley is aquatic base. Well, no. Before that, we have to talk about the scene where the egg carrier goes down. Oh right, and right. Literally, the egg carrier goes down, and Sonic is inconsolable because at least has died. Oh, you know, I forgot. I forgot to mention this. The scene with him running. Um, at least he's died and Silver's like and Silver's there and Blaze is there too Sonic's never met Blaze so I don't know why he's just like okay with Blaze being there <laughs> not even <laughs> <laughs> this picture oh my god <laughs> oh that's great <laughs> I, I'm gonna if you can find this picture and send it to me for real like a real hard copy of it I can put this I in the thumbnail me. this will make for a great it. thumbnail I got you um so, so, Silver's like, it's not too late. We can still save her. And Sonic instantly understands what he means. Mm-hmm. And he pulls out his Chaos Emerald. And Silver pulls out his Chaos Emerald. And they use Chaos Control. The fact that K- Silver knows how to do Chaos Control, it, like one that, like, I get I get it. Sonic's done it before, but Sonic has also been super before, so he understands the power of the Chaos Emeralds. Silver just does things that he honestly shouldn't be able to do and believe me this is the least of this game's problems is the fact that silver can use chaos control and silver can go super but Mm -hmm. like really there should have been like it really would have been a like i feel like silver's character would have been so much better if they just chilled him out a bit made him a little bit more of a dick not more of a dick but a little bit more jaded about the future Mm mm-hmm and made Mephilus a little bit more convincing because he doesn't do a very good job of convincing Silver, but Silver falls for it. He does a he does, but he does the same. He's like Silver, help me kill Sonic and I'll save the future. And Silver's like okay, and then he's like Shadow, help me kill Sonic and kill everyone and we'll save the future. And Shadow's like no, what? Shadow's <laughs> the only one with sense in this game. Um. We forgot, I forgot to mention the scene right after Radical Train in which mm-hmm. Sonic and Elise are running through the Microsoft screensaver. Right. This big, giant, open grass field. And they're laughing and they're smiling. Hey, just keep running, Elise. Just smile, Elise. I pulled Haley uh, into this cutscene uh, so that she could watch this because I knew about this scene. Mm-hmm. I have never seen her laugh so much. It's something she has no context over. That's how bad this scene was. <laughs> and believe me, 
In all, I I do a podcast in which I rank Sonic the Hedgehog games. Believe me when I say that I show Haley stuff that she doesn't give a shit about that I think are funny and that I know she's not going to laugh, but I have to show her anyway. This is the first time which I got her to laugh legitimately. So you know there's a problem here. This scene is not okay. (laughs) Sonic's hand is bigger than Elise's face. It's true. And he puts his hand on Elise's face. And he could crush Elise's face with his hand. <laughs> he just looks uh, so weird next to her. It just doesn't work look right. And Jason Griffith, he's not he's not the best Sonic voice actor. I think Drummond is Drummond and to a different extent, Roger Craig is a bit better. This was like his first real game with this, aside from Shadow. Yeah. I mean, I guess he voices Shadow too, so like he, so he definitely does Shadow the whole time. His his the lines he's given and the voice acting he does is just so weird. And right. Elise is so weird. And there's the part where you have to do the three tests. One of them is like courage. One of them is like memory or trust or something. Those two don't. Ma- the one is like, oh, we got to kill enemies. And one, you got to jump through portals. And the last one is the test of love. In which you have to choose who your true love is. And you're given the choice, Joey. Between (laughs) Amy and And Elise. Elise. (laughs) If you choose Amy, you lose. But if you choose Elise, some guy's like, I hope you guys go on a nice date. And Elise is like, Sonic, I knew you'd come. Good lord. This motherfucking woman, this human princess woman is in love with a hedgehog. This is an international crisis we are having here. The planet, the planet of Mobius has an international crisis. A monarch, this princess, she's not a queen, she's a princess, is trying to have sex with this hedgehog. And that hedgehog is a simp. Sonic is a simp. He's a simp. And he should be locked up for his crimes. So are we calling him Sonic the Simp Hog now? Sonic the Simp Hog. That's what he is. This, this relationship is not okay. Not okay, Sega. I've seen, I've seen mock-ups of Elise as a hedgehog. Boy, would that have been a better direction. <laughs> Boy, would that have made this romance believable. Right. Let's see. Well, I mean, you can say one thing. She's older than him. Is she? Supposedly he's 15, and she is 17. I don't think that makes it any better. No, it doesn't. (laughs) It honestly doesn't. (laughs) (laughs) It might make it worse. (laughs) I don't know what what makes that that thing better, because it's like, I mean, they're underage. I mean, you know... We've all had crushes on Sonic the Hedgehog before in our younger years. We can admit that, right? <laughs> Maybe not. One of us here can, apparently. Oh, gosh. The, I mean, I guess, you know, she's 17. She's afraid of the world, and this hero comes in and saves her. But nope, I'm not going to justify this. Not going to justify this at all. No. So Sonic's story ends. You go to Aquatic Base um, yep. to get on the egg carrier from from back in time to save Elise and you save Elise from the egg wyvern egg man dies. He dies. Cause he falls off the ship into oblivion, but he comes back later. He's fine. He comes back at the very end. He's okay. Don't worry. Eggman's fine. Egg wyvern. The bad boss fight. The sticky controls don't help. And the camera doesn't help. And the stupid part where you're trying to ram him into a piece of debris is awful. The rest of it is fine. Right. And then it yeah, ends. Mm, Good. I said, yeah, the rest of it is all right. And then it ends with Sonic in this kind of fun action scene where they just start laughing. And I don't know what, I, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be laughing at the the events that just happened. The fact that they all both almost died to this explosion, this crashing ship. But they're laughing at me. <laughs> I know they are. They're laughing at me, Joey. <laughs> Of course they are. And because they know you're going to rant after this game. No. 
they're laughing at me because they got me to play this. <laughs> they knew. They knew. All right. Um, wow, we're 50 minutes in. <laughs> I haven't gotten through to, to Shadow. Um, we can kind of go through Shadow pretty quickly since we've gone through the uh, gameplay styles. Shadow's way slower than Sonic. I don't understand why. And they get... focus him on combat, which sucks. Well, we are coming off, kind of coming off the heels of Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah, yeah the true. So, and honestly, would have preferred the gun gameplay. So would I. Because um, at least then you could just cheese it. But this is just like, you attack, you do the combo, you attack, you do the combo. The He doesn't, like, oh. even Sonic doesn't, imme- you can't immediately go into another homing attack like the other games. You have to wait. And Shadow hits the person, jumps up, and then you can do another homing. And it's really slow. Shadow runs really slow. Why is Shadow using vehicles in this game? The vehicles are awful. They're like, they either don't work or they're just so boring, like the boat or the plane or the glider. Solve it. I just don't understand. The story, however, for Shadow is actually pretty good. I actually really like Shadow's story. Um, It was a good story. Through knowing the events of the future, Mephilus comes to trick Shadow the Hedgehog into believing that the world is going to turn against him and that the only way for Shadow to survive is if he joins up with Mephilus. Um, Mm -hmm. Shadow denies this and works to stop Mephilus himself. At the beginning, he actually sets Mephilus free, but we won't get into that. Um, He works, he gets sent to the future from from Mephilus. He works with Sonic to get back to the past. Uh, He gets stuck in the past fighting Mephilus and Rouge goes to the future, goes to, or he gets stuck in the future fighting Mephilus. Rouge goes to the past to, to give a Chaos Emerald to Ethereal Omega to have him wait to the future to rescue Shadow. Omega is put on shutdown mode and is just waiting there. Now, I'm not 100% sure of this. In fact, I'm 100% sure that this is not the case. But how does Omega appear anywhere else in any Sonic game? Oh, I know, because this game doesn't even matter because they re- they undid the timeline at the end of the game. They That's really why. Thank God for that. Anyway, <laughs> that would have been a messy plot hole if we didn't see the ending of this game, right? The true ending. Oh, hold on now. Wasn't in, in Heroes? Weren't Omega and Shadow in the same room together in the beginning of Heroes? Correct. And Omega was shut down. Until he was awoken. Yeah. So. I don't know. Like well, you I mean, said. Hero, it's just ruined all the timelines. It, do, it doesn't work. But of course they take it back. So it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Um, and then Shadow goes to the future. He rescues Sonic. From Sha- from Silver, he just completely back kicks Silver in the head, and it's very mm-hmm. satisfying. And from Silver seeing Shadow do it once, he grabs a Chaos Emerald and does Chaos Control himself, and they both go back in time. Right. And uh, they proceed to break the laws of time travel as we know it. The Hulk was not lying when he said how time travel works, and they <laughs> broke it. Oh, they mm-hmm. destroyed it. They demolished it. Turns out Shadow was the one that sealed Mephilus in the past. Which, I guess if there's a loop theory paradox, Mm -hmm. then you would understand that Shadow always is meant to go back in the past to seal up Mephilus and then proceed to the future. But the timeline is erased after this game, so he was never meant to go to the past. But then, if he never went to go to the past, that means Mephilus wouldn't have been sealed up, and he would have combined with Iblis in the... Hmm. 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 Something's not adding up. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> um, so then, at the end of the game, at the end of Shadow Story, he defeats Mephilus, saves, saves Omega, defeats Mephilus, uh, Mephilus is like, they're going to turn your, they're back on you, Shadow. They're going to kill you. They're going to, they're going to make you wish that you would join forces with me. And Shadow, this, this is not built up, doesn't 
It's not earned. It's there, There's no reason why he should be able to do this. This has never been alluded to. But he looks at Mephiles and he's like, if the world turns its back on me, snap. Then I will fight like I always have. Snap. And he goes freaking Super Saiyan on all these Mephiles clones. And the theme starts playing. Rouge and Omega are like, we got you. Running right behind him. Full stride. And that's how Shadow Story ends. <laughs> love it. I love it. It's so cool. <laughs> It it doesn't make any sense. Although to be fair, like, um, the whole thing is about how Shadow is too strong and people fear his power, and you never really get that sense. Of like, oh, why? Do, I mean, he's this powerful Sonic. Why don't they hate Sonic? And this is the moment you understand. Like, oh, is this what they're talking about? Is this the power that he, the overwhelming power that he has? Yeah. And all throughout the whole game, you're building up these chaos powers through the through the shop that you activate. Which I just kind of like this mechanic, but I feel like it doesn't actually do it doesn't feel like you're actually getting anything from it right. but like you hit the button he gets all red you hit it again he gets more red hit it again he goes completely red and your attack power is way way stronger but your your chaos meter drops um it's an interesting mechanic i just don't think it's used very well it's used well in this final boss because you have to use it in order to get mephless to pop out um but i just don't understand why taking the rings off does that they're like i guess they're like power inhibitors Whatever, it's cool. I'll take it. <laughs> Did you like um, the Mephiles fights at all? Yeah, they're all right. Um, they're okay. Like I said, the boss fights didn't really do much for me. Either. The only one that I really had a problem with was Iblis, the the ma- the worm Iblis, and a little bit of of egg gen or egg uh, egg wyvern. But other than that. Last but not least, we have Silver Story. Starts off with a nice CG cutscene of Silver monologuing while flying very far, farther than he ever gets to fly in the actual game right. uh, at the beginning, where he's hunting after Iblis. And then Rouge comes in, or Rouge, uh, Blaze comes in, she's like, Silver, he's back! Iblis is back! And Silver's like, what? And he takes off like a rocket. He can go that fast? He doesn't That's do that in the game. He's slow <laughs> as shit in the game. He travels... Slower than he walks when he's flying. But in this, he shoots off at the speed of light. Yeah, it's kind of unreal. I don't hate Silver's gameplay. In fact, I actually think it's kind of fun being able to just throw things around, especially catching the robot missiles and throwing them right back at him. Mm -hmm. But after a certain point, it's just kind of annoying to where you're like, grab the boxes, throw one, wait, throw one, wait, throw one. Now it's dead. And... I don't know. It's just they needed to mix it up a bit more, and they needed to like the robot. These ro- Sonic Sonic enemies should never have health. I'll just say that. I agree. Always the coin base, a ring base system. Yep. yep, 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 yep. Like heroes, I don't like it. Here, I don't like it. Um, I don't know if they have it in in Shadow. They do have it in Shadow. I didn't like it in Shadow, and I don't like it in Sonic Unleashed. I'll tell you that. A little spoiler alert for Sonic Unleashed. I, I don't like it there either. Uh, and that's only. That's only in uh, the Werehog sections, but we'll get to that when the time comes. Yep. Most of Silver's levels are fine. I think they they can be broken pretty easily. And do, did you learn to do the 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 rapid tap of A to get across things so you extend your your glide? Yes. Your hover? Okay. Yeah. I, I learned that pretty quickly. I'm like, oh yeah, this 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 breaks a lot of it. And you can actually explore things. It makes it a lot more fun. And honestly, things like that do help the game a, a lot. It go a long way where you can do like little exploits that are clearly. I mean, obviously, I don't know how much they actually tested this stuff because clearly they didn't test a lot of this. Um, but like, because they literally fired their testing team mm-hmm. uh, because they said that the game wasn't working, it wasn't going to be ready. So they fired their testing team and got a testing team who just said yes to everything, and that's why this game is so broken. Um, yeah. But like Silver's Hover being able to like to tap jump is just kind of fun. Um, Silver Story goes from okay to bad. It starts off kind of, I mean, as much as I hate on Silver being like just a bitch in this game, the rest of his story just kind of goes around not making any sense of what he's doing and why he's doing it. Um, he's too, he he trusts too many stupid people. There's too many stupid people doing stupid things in this video, in this video game, and I don't understand it. Blaze says nothing of value, and she literally justifies killing Sonic. 
she's like, we have to do what we got to do, Silver. As she pushes, like, it's like God of War when Kratos is teaching Atreus how to hunt. And Kratos, or Atreus is like, I don't want to stab the deer. And, God, and Kratos takes his hands and shoves him in the deer. Like, no, son, you will kill this deer. That's what Blaze <laughs> is doing. No, Silver, you will kill Sonic. Bad Blaze. Bad Blaze. Um, Bad kitty. I don't... The, the little pads that Silver grabs onto to, like, make things float. Why is it so slow and why is it so, like, hard to tell when it stops? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Look, because you notice that, right? It's like, you'll do it. And yeah. It's like, okay, is it... No, oh, there, no there's more build. Oh, no, there's more it's build. Still it's still going. Build. It's still going. Yeah. Um... His power ups are really dumb. He's get the one where he like will slam onto the ground and have a very short range of stun. I use that all the time though. It's the only thing that makes me happy. I use it a lot too. Um The final boss is mindless against Final Iblis. Mm-hmm. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. And then Blaze sacrifices herself and seals Iblis inside of her, which would explain why she's got fire powers, right, Joey? Yeah. In, in Sonic Rush. That's how she gets fire powers, right? No, mm -hmm. because she had fire powers the whole game. And I guess the reason why she's able to have the fire powers in, of Iblis is because she has fire powers. Why does she have fire powers? Why is Silver telepathic? We don't. These are answers. These are we questions we have answers to. We'll never get those answers. Silver just goes... Goodbye, Silver. Good luck. And disappears. And presumably goes off in another dimension. Which would make... I guess that means that she's going to Sonic Rush to get the Soul Emeralds. Sure makes sense. Soul Emeralds? Soliana? Yeah. It all came full circle. Full circle. I hope. Is what that is. Uh, final boss is the usual mumbo jumbo of all the characters teaming up to save things. Sonic dies. Sonic dies. He gets stabbed. Sonic dies. And that's. Oh my god, I forgot to mention this part. Joey, why? So. Iblis is sealed in Elise. What's the one way to get Iblis out of Elise? It's not killing her. Oh. oh. How does Iblis get? How does Iblis get freed from Elise? Nine months of suffering and pain. No, what? What's the one? <laughs> thing, what's the thing her father tells her not to do in the game so that uh, Iblis doesn't get unleashed? I don't remember. He says to her, "Whatever you do, Elise, don't cry." Because <laughs> if she right. cries, Iblis gets freed. She's like Gara. Gara of the desert from Naruto. Yeah, Gara I don't let your emotions get the best of you, because then you'll unleash your one-tailed demon. Imagine sealing a fiery demon into your nine, eight-year-old daughter and telling her, Hey, look, your mom's dead. I'm going to die right now. I've sealed a fiery demon inside of you, but if you cry, the world will end. Don't cry. Goodbye. I mean, that's, that's that's Naruto in a nutshell. Your mom's dead. I'm about to die. Here, I'm going to seal this nine-tailed demon inside of you. Yeah, fair point. But, well, I mean, they explain it later to where he's like, I would wanted you to, to help the nine tails and end his suffering. And he did. It was successful. He did. And then it was the Hokage. They made such a great friendship. And everyone went aptly ever after. Um, I hate uh, this plot point. Crying. And then what is, how does she, how do they get her to cry? They don't break her, they don't break her fingers. They don't torture her. They kill Sonic. Sonic. But don't worry. We can still hear Sonic's voice in the wind. He's still <laughs> alive out there. If we get all the chaos emeralds, we might be able to bring him back. Okay. We got all the chaos emeralds. What, what's next, Elise? How do, how do you bring, how do you bring, how do you bring Sonic back? We have the chaos emeralds. She's like, I have to say this magical prayer. And then, um, <laughs> um oh oh yeah i have to kiss sonic yeah that's it that's how it works that's how you it have works. to you have to kiss sonic is mm, that those, 
Those juicy hedgehog lips. Yes. This is a very this is a very specific ritual. Why? Like I get the magic words, but wait, you have to kiss him? Like, oh yeah, yeah, totally. Gotta kiss Sonic. Okay. <laughs> well, if you must, go for it. It oh, nuts. And then Knuckles kind of bends down, takes one takes one knee, looks at Elise, and he says Did the prophecy say anything about tongue? <laughs> What about uh, what about playing Soggy Waffle in the Chaos Emeralds? Uh, I've seen that before too, and that that really saved the day. <laughs> oh, this game! So Sonic awakens fully supersonic. He walks over to, to Shadow. Makes sense. He walks over to Silver. Doesn't make sense, and they all become super and save the day. <sighs> oh my gosh! The final boss is fine. It's not hard. It's just kind of. It's one of those, like, how do I do this? Oh, this is how you damage him. Okay. Yep, and then you just take it from there. I didn't realize you could charge up Sonic's dash. I did. Um, this was a fun game. Very fun. Very fun yeah. game. 10 out of 10. Well, hang on. Before before I finish this, uh, I just want to say that the His World Final Boss theme, this is the start of those final orchestral versions of the Final Boss themes. We'll get it in... This game, we'll get it in, I believe, the two storybook games. We'll get it unleashed in colors. Um, and I don't know about Forces, but I think it does happen in Forces. These are awesome. I love these. These orchestral versions of these games, mm -hmm. of these themes. Um, and this one is no different. It's really cool. And then the end of the game, Sonic and Elise are sitting in a room, dark room, just a fire in front of them. And they said that this is the flame of Soliana. And if they put this flame out, Solaris will never exist. But the timeline and the things that have happened will also not have existed. And it'll be like they've never met. And at least confesses her love for Sonic and says, I don't care what happens to the world. I just want to be with you, Sonic. I just <laughs> want to be with you. Why? It's been 48 hours, Elise. I get you're 17, but come on. I mean... Fuck, you're a seventeen year old princess. You've been kidnapped six to seven times in the last forty eight hours. Got issues. Saved by no one but this blue hedgehog. All you want to do is get dick down. Like she could just say to him, like, "Hey, could you come and visit when you, after after we're back?" Like, yeah, so that'd be that'd be better. Take this note. Take this note. Put it in your pocket. Read it when you when you wake up. And. And come back to me. Okay, I'll, okay, I'm Sonic. Okay, I'll take the what? These aren't. This is. Is this underwear? Is this your underwear? What? <laughs> and so Sonic looks at Elise as Elise is crying about wanting to sacrifice the world so that they can have their 48 hours of of love. And boy, howdy, was it a lot of love. And he looks at Elise and he says, "Elise, just smile and blow." And that's the end of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, Sonic 06, a round of applause for this game. I hate it here. Um, I, final thoughts on this game. I'll, I'll let you go right after this. I'll, I'll be quick. Because it's already been an hour of, of, of recording. I don't hate this game. I think a lot of people vehemently hate the game. I just make fun of it because it's easy to make fun of. Oh, look, it's Lord Regis. I love Lord Regis. Praise be Lord Regis. Um, there are, it's very rushed. There's so many glitches. There's so many texture problems and voice acting problems and cutscene problems. And there's just weird things about this. The loading times suck. All these things. The physics of this game is awful. There's so many issues. But at the core of it, there are some actual good ideas here. Like I like the partner mechanic. I like that each character has their, ha are generally Sonic gameplay. Excuse me, Jesus. Sonic gameplay with one specific section like Shadow has vehicles, Sonic has speed sections, Silver has the, the telepath, telepath mechanic. Yep. None of them are actually good, but I like that the ideas are there and they're trying to do something with this while keeping that core Sonic gameplay because that is my big problem with Sonic Adventure 2 is that you only get to have the fun gameplay for a third of the game and then the other two thirds is the boring Tails missions and then the excruciating to boring Knuckles missions 
which if i guess if you it, honestly if you play those the game a lot and you know those those maps the knuckles missions aren't that bad but the, like definitively the sonic stuff is the best and so this game has three sonics basically yep and distracts you with certain sections that are different but like none of it is fast and when it is fast it doesn't it's not uncontrollable it doesn't translate well yeah like i i i have a i have a sonic game in my head and it wouldn't surprise you to know that I've come up with a lot of Sonic games in, in my time, in my youth. Most of them are very bad ideas. I can attest to that. My, my, my current idea of Sonic, a Sonic game is very good. It's a very good idea. And Sonic Team should That's hire me. And they hire me for this pitch and then give me a million dollars and they can make it and I can go away. Well, let's hear it, friend. Stop teasing us. The general comp. I'm not going to get into the story detail because I, I don't want anyone taking my idea now, right? Is that the gameplay revolves around Sonic... Tails and Knuckles going on an adventure. The level starts off and that Sonic needs to... That they, they need to get into these temples which have the Chaos Emeralds or whatever. Or some mm. some doohickey, some... What do they call it in Spider-Verse? The... Mm. The Wibbly Wobbly, the... The what? The thingamajig, the, the USB thing, the, the thing. He has a weird... Oh. They called it. They called it the. I don't remember. Uh... Um, so Sonic, in order for in order for Tails to be able to set up his tech to, in order to get into the temple, Sonic has to to run a relay into the temple. So he has to set up a way for them to like a clear path, clear way the path to get into this. That's the speed section, and along the way you'll encounter sections which you have to fight enemies and you switch to Knuckles. And Knuckles is the one who fights the enemies like the Werehog and Sonic. But it's all, it's much faster paced. Much right. very, very quicker sections. And that, and then Tails' level, Tails' sections have to do with using tech to, to, to take apart stuff, usually involving puzzles and slower mechanics, but still not like taking away from the overall sense of like speed. Like these are not like smart puzzles. These are like skill-based um like if you it's it's about you doing doing these things fast enough so that you can get through the level like um you know that puzzle in SpongeBob Battle for Getting Bottom where you're like dropping the ball in the mermaid layer yes like that something like that where it's not about skill it's just about knowing what you have to do in order to do it done quick enough right um, the like US, the flash drive is called a goober by the way the goober that's what it is and then yeah. so Sonic can run to the end so that they can get the chaos emeralds so they can move on to the next level uh, a gotcha. general the general idea is to have speed sections intermixed with knuckles and tails sections that make sense for the gameplay and enhance it and focus on this idea that you're trying to get through these levels as fast as possible. Whereas mm-hmm. a lot of times they kind of forget that with, when it comes to a lot of the gimmicky sections where it's not about getting through the level fast enough. It's just about doing this thing like fighting enemies, which slows it down and should be done in specific ways that are fun. Yeah. Um, anyway, this game is kind of like that. Sonic 6 is actually kind of like that idea where you're mixing in these levels and your friends are helping you in order to get through the levels. But it's just done so badly. It didn't work. All right. right. For our last sections, we are going to be ranking a few core elements of this game, including our favorite boss. Sorry, we're not ranking them. We're just saying them. Our favorite boss, our favorite levels, and our favorite tracks, which we will be ranking. Starting with favorite boss fights. And I'll list them here. We got the Egg Cerberus, the Egg Genesis. We got the Silver, Shadow, and Sonic fights. We got Iblis 1, Iblis 2, and Iblis 3. Iblis 2 is technically the one you fight as Sonic and Shadow. Iblis 1 is Silver's first boss fight, and Iblis 3 is Silver's last boss fight. We got the Egg Wyvern. We got Mephilus 1, Mephilus 2, and we have Solaris, the final boss. Joey, what is your favorite boss fight? Um, I would either say Mephilus or Egg Cerberus. Okay. I don't think I think Mephilus one was my favorite because I think that they use a mechanic in an interesting way, which no other mm-hmm. fight does. <laughs> uh, which is kind of sad to say, but it's true. They don't really uh, none of their boss fights really stand out to me. The egg, the egg Genesis is so basic. The Egg yep. Cerberus again, kind of basic, and the Iblis fights are awful. Yeah. Favorite level? Uh, the do I need to city. list them? Uh... Sure. Uh, what was it? Wave Ocean, Dusty Desert, White Acropolis, Crisis City, Flame Core, Radical Train, Kingdom Valley, Tropical Jungle, and Aquatic Base. Crisis City. 
Yeah, I agree. Crisis huh. City, it's the best level. It's the reason why they chose it for for generations. Um, it's the only redeemable level that's good for all three characters. Whereas, like, Wave Ocean sucks. The speed section sucks. Uh, Blaze's level, it's just forgettable. Dusty Desert has the damn ball puzzle. And the car section, and the weird hover, sand hover thing is Shadow. White Acropolis has so many issues. Christ, or Flame Core is just boring and annoying and awful. <laughs> Radical Train has some issues as well. Like, they all have issues, but I think Crisis City is the one with the least amount of issues. Right. For our themes of the episode, we are going to be ranking His World, Sonic's theme, and Dreams of an Absolution, Silver's theme. We're not going to be touching uh, All Hail Shadow because and they're kind of, I mean, they would all just go to the end because they're bad. Mm -hmm. um, I do like these two songs. I think His World is this kind of... Huh? His World is good. I think it's a little too... It kind of has the same problems to me as Shadow because when you listen to the lyrics, it's like, ooh, this is just too, like, Sonic's the best! People put you in your place! Like, in his world, his world! It's like, oh, God. <laughs> So I don't. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, like, the, and there's certain remixes that I think are much better. I think the Crush Forty, His World remix is way better than the base, uh, His mm -hmm. World song. Uh, but unfortunately, we're not doing that one. So I would put this right above Heroes. So we have sure. what I'm made of, live and learn, open your heart, right here, right on, Heroes, Sonic Boom, and I am all of me. And I put this yeah. right above Heroes. Yep, I agree. And then we have Dreams of uh, the, <laughs> Dreams of an Absolution. Which is Silver's theme. It doesn't fit Silver at all. I think that there was a better character that they wrote that they couldn't have, didn't have time to implement that fit better for this character. But uh, Dreams of Absolution is a great song. It is an amazing song. It's not a Sonic song, but it is a great song. Hmm. Uh, number two for me. I think it's the second best song. And I'll, I'll go with that. Sure. There's a remix of this thing that is mwah, beautiful. It's a beautiful remix. Um, it's got a couple of good remixes. It's it's actually really good. I, I wish they would be able to use this one more often. And it's just so it doesn't does like this game does not deserve dreams of an absolution. Not really, no. And if I were to if I were to put it as a theme for this game, um, as uh, as odd and wrong as it may sound, I would make it like the song for the end for at least not just so for Elise? For Elise and Sonic. Like they're the Oh yeah, no, that feels that feels right. Oh, no, I didn't mean it's correct, right? I meant it's wrong. Because their relationship is wrong. I don't know what dreams of an absolution means, but I can only assume it means bestiality. <laughs> and how can that be wrong, my friend? Let's rank the Sonic franchise. Bring up the list! Uh, we got the fullest here. Yep. Last week, we ranked Sonic Rush. We put it at number five with our list as follows. Number one, Sonic 2. Will it be dethroned today? It won't. Number no. two, Sonic and Knuckles. Number three, Sonic Adventure. Number four, Sonic Adventure 2. Number five, Sonic Rush. Number six, Sonic Advance 3. Number seven, Sonic 3. Number eight, Sonic the Movie. Number nine. Did you hear they're thinking of doing an Eggman spinoff? Number nine, Sonic Advance 2. Number 10, Sonic Heroes. Number 11, Sonic CD. Number 12, Shadow the Hedgehog. Should be number 14. Number 13, Hello. Sonic Advance. And number 14, Sonic 1. Where are we putting Sonic 06? Joey, your thoughts. I'm going I'm to level with you here, man. It's definitely not going anywhere towards the center or above. <laughs> I'm going to put it at number 10. You're above Heroes? Sorry, no. Sorry, I'm looking. I'm looking at. I don't have the current list. Sonic Heroes is number nine. Um, uh, eleven. Above CD. Yes. Look, it's it's dead last for me. Like, okay, all like right. If you go, to, if you go, I, I, had, I, hey, hey, I had my way with Shadow. I'll let you have this one. Good. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, my thing is, is like. And we built this list, and like I can test the like I think Sonic Three is probably the be a better game than Adventure when you come down to the critical reviews. But it's all down to like what game do I want to play? What I want to sit down and play right now? Right. Um, and I would attest that I would rather come back and play Sonic Six because of the fact that it's so bad that it's good, 
And even mm-hmm. then, so bad it's good. It's, just, it's so bad that it's funny. Um, and I enjoy it. I enjoy having that laugh at this game. Um, that I would actually play this game before I would play Sonic CD or Shadow again or Sonic Advance or Sonic 1, to be honest. Oh. Sonic Advance is not a bad game, but it's just so kind of nothing. Sonic 1 is a bad game, but I just don't I don't enjoy playing it that much. And I think right. it's the baseline of what, what, what constitutes a good and bad game. But the fact that we have Shadow the Hedgehog at number 12... <laughs> just breaks this whole list apart because I think this game is fundamentally better than Shadow the Hedgehog because Shadow because this game I beat this in a weekend and I had fun and I walked away I'm like that was a fun time if, to beat Shadow the Hedgehog you have to hate yourself you have to hate the game you have to come into it you have to hate yourself at the start you have to come in you have to hate the game and then you have to come in and hate both of you even more yep well like I said I had my way with Shadow I will let you have your way with this. All right. Coming in at number 15, Sonic 06. At least we have that, ladies and gentlemen. But the rankings do not end here. They will go on because we have Sonic Rush Adventure. That's right. Blaze is back, baby, in one last event. Actually, no, we have more adventures with Blaze. Um, Yeah. Next week, we're going to do Sonic Advance. Not Sonic Advance. Sonic Rush Adventure. Um, I heard mm-hmm. it's a pretty good game. I'm excited to play it. Um, I like Rush a lot. Obviously, we put it at number five. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm going to be playing it on my brand new Nintendo 3DS. 2DS Woo! XL that I got. And I'm really excited to play that. I can't um, wait to rank this. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. We have notification recently that Sonic 30th Anniversary is coming forward, uh, which should hopefully lead into a game, Maybe. A Sonic game, a mainline Sonic game for once, and it's the 30th anniversary. Finale to this Sonic travesty that is ranked maybe about. maybe we'll actually have a finale for this thing where we rank what will hopefully be a good game. The <sighs> thing is, is that last time we had an anniversary was the Sonic 20th anniversary, and we got Sonic Generations, baby. That's right. That's right. And what a game! It's unfortunate because that was the 20, 20th anniversary and the 15th anniversary. Guess what game came out for the 15th anniversary? I don't know. Sonic 06. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, fuck me. We'll see you next time. <laughs> I've been Banner as said. That's Joey Spicy Fries. See We're ya. Sorry. We're very sorry. Don't play this I'm game. Not, I'm not that sorry. <laughs>